Abilene Christian uses their bigs to go high-low. Arizona State wants to push for dunks in transition. Auburn pushes two, but they'll spot up for threes. Baylor's 1-1-3 tandem zone is tough for opponents to figure out. If a player on Belmont dribbles at another player, there's a pretty good chance of backdoor passes coming. When you're playing Bradley, you can't go under Daryl Brown's ball screens. Buffalo likes to leave the paint wide open in their five out early offense. Cincinnati's switching matchup zone has made them one of the best defensive programs in the country. Colgate's Jordan Burns is hard to guard off the bounce. Duke can just set a simple pin down to get RJ or Zion to their left hand early in a possession. You can't help off Fairley Dickinson's Darnell Edge. Florida uses a 1-2-2 three-quarter court press to stall your offense and force you to start late in the clock. Florida State's Fiondu Cabangeli has great NBA potential in part because of his ability to pick and pop for threes. Gardner Webb's undersized, but DJ Laster forces other team centers in bad closeout situations. Georgia State runs a matchup zone that has heavy influences from John Chaney. Gonzaga loves to ball screen with one big while having the other big duck in in the paint. Houston ices ball screens to force you to the baseline. You have to stop the ball when Iona's Ricky McGill has it in transition. Iowa's Tyler Cook can block a shot get the rebound, and then push it coast to coast. Iowa State goes four out, one in to spread you out for ball screens. Kansas likes to run lob plays for alley-oops out of timeouts. The mid-range is dying, but don't tell Kansas State's Barry Brown that. Kentucky's favorite offensive action is to have a big pin down and then immediately post up. Liberty has enough shooting on the court that center Scotty James can seal his man for dunks. Louisville packs it in on defense and keeps you out of the paint. Tremont Waters and Marlon Taylor for LSU are the best alley-oop combo in the tournament. Marquette's Marcus Howard is the best shooter off the bounce in the tournament. Bruno Fernando is a much improved passer out of the post for Maryland. Michigan's help defense is on an elite level.
Michigan State's bigs are always trying to beat you down the court for a rim run. Minnesota's Jordan Murphy is dangerous from the early offense trail spot. Ole Miss runs the Chin Series straight out of the Princeton offense. And Mississippi State runs Chin too, and then goes straight into a spread ball screen. Montana Saeed Pridget was recruited as a point guard, but he does a lot of his work in the post. It's pretty hard to stop Murray State's Ja Morant if he gets downhill. Jazz Johnson is Nevada's zone buster. New Mexico State loves to run lob plays for Johnny McCants. North Carolina still goes to the Dean Smith scramble defense every once in a while. North Carolina Central's offense revolves around Rashawn Davis. Vinny Shahid from North Dakota State likes to reject ball screens to get to his right hand. Northeastern is one of the best teams in the tournament at executing their half-court sets. It somehow took this long in the video to mention continuity ball screen, but Northern Kentucky runs it. Ohio State's Caleb Wesson fights extremely hard for post position. Oklahoma loves to flex screen for Christian James. Old Dominion has great rim protection in the paint. Oregon guards have extremely active hands in their zone. Prairie View A&M forces a lot of turnovers and will even press after a missed free throw. Purdue's two favorite actions are a pin down immediately into a ball screen and running staggers for shooters. Everybody crashes the offensive glass for St. Louis. St. Mary's runs a dribble handoff on baseline out of bounds specifically for Jordan Ford. Miles Powell plays off pin downs all game long for Seton Hall. Shamori Pons for St. John's is a high level ball handler and finisher. The Syracuse zone can extend out to shooters thanks to Pascal Chukwu's rim protection in the middle. Temple's Quinton Rose is hard to stay in front of. 
the first part of Tennessee's early offense is Jordan Bone probing to the hoop until someone stops him. Texas Tech is obsessed with keeping the ball out of the middle and taking charges. UC Irvine has a lot of big men who all protect the paint. It's pretty easy to tell there's no defense of three seconds in college basketball when you watch UCF's taco fall. Utah State's Nemius Keita is also an elite rim protector. BCU is getting back to the Havoc style of play that once brought them to a Final Four. Vermont's Anthony Lamb is better than Zion Williamson. Maybe? If you send a double team at Villanova, they'll make you pay with ball movement to find an open three. Virginia has run more continuity ball screen as the season has progressed. Virginia Tech gives early help to stop the ball from ever going into the paint. Matisse Thibel is crazy good at stealing the pass into the high post in Washington's zone. Ethan Happ loves to dribble the ball from the perimeter into the post for Wisconsin. Wofford's Fletcher McGee is unbelievable at turning his body in the air mid three-point shot, and Yale's Mie Oni is a future NBA player. If you enjoyed this breakdown on all 68 teams, we have an NCAA tournament Bible with much more comprehensive write-ups, videos, X's and O's, and analytics on all 68 teams. The link is in the description.